Real-time development operations is about adding discipline and rigor to software development to improve quality by introducing automation and integration throughout the development process. Techniques becoming popular in the Agile community, like continuous integration, automated software build and validation, automated testing, test-driven development, behavior-driven development, are actually applicable to all software development lifecycles approaches. Real-time DevOps is a way of bringing new tools and disciplines to software development. Many development organizations, whether they follow waterfall or agile techniques, can benefit from improved quality and delivery. By automating how software gets built, tested, and deployed, standards can be applied, consistency can be achieved, and quality issues can be identified much earlier in the process. Real-time DevOps is a cost-efficient, flexible, and repeatable set of services in an area that has lacked discipline and investment over the decades. A multinational software company based in the United States adopted a lot of the techniques for real-time DevOps in order to improve their processes. They used to have a very complex development environment with multiple instances of several applications that needed to be integrated across those environments with complex redirect rules that made it very difficult to move software from one environment instance to the next. Engineers follow a three-page deep checklist in order to manually build the software, move it from one environment to the next, and ready all of the integrations and redirect rules. Then a set of QA engineers followed manually a large number of regression test cases to validate the build against the multiple instances and applications. This was a very long and tedious process that required a long time to execute on any one release and also made it impossible for developers to test some of their features in the dev environment because they lacked the integrations and connections to some of the application instances where those features needed to be tested. We began by automating the build and deployment process, creating scripts that took the complex set of checklists to build the software, deploy it across the environment, and address the redirect rules in an automated manner. We could then build and deploy the software in a matter of minutes, such that developers were able to then test their code while still in development and discovering a lot of the defects early on in the development cycle. Then we proceeded to automate a lot of the smoke test scripts as a way of providing build validation and verification once the deployment occurred on the new environment. So now we could also build the application, deploy it on the new environment, and validate the build before moving forward. That gave additional feedback to the developers as of the quality of their code and uncovered some of those defects early on in the cycle. Finally, we took the large list of regression test cases and began automating them such that as soon as the software was built, deployed to a new environment, the build validated, we could perform a full suite of regression test cases in a matter of hours, something that used to take two to three weeks to execute manually. The end outcome of having implemented real-time DevOps was a significant reduction on the testing cycle much smoother go lives because the number of defects identified were in the low teens, where before we were uncovering hundreds of defects due to untested code or manual errors introduced in the build process. And eventually the whole organization moved into monthly release cycles, something unthinkable before we started.